Hey what's up soldiers my name is Greg FPS welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Shadows of Evil characters. Later on this week I'm going to be covering the Femme Fatale, the Dirty Cop, and the Magician. But in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Boxer. Real name in the game is Floyd Campbell and he's played by the actor Ron Perlman. They definitely look very very similar. So obviously the box was just made after this character for voice acting and just like facial recognition and everything. So as we know, he is a boxer. The most recent fight he had, he used brass knuckles. He wasn't just looking to win, he was looking to cause damage. Before his boxing matches, the referee would look inside his gloves and they wouldn't find that he had brass knuckles because he hid it under the gauze wrap. In the trailer, he broke his opponent's jaw. And it would also leave us to believe that maybe he's killed people within the boxing ring. First of all, we need to remember that these are bad people. They have a tragic flaw and they are now paying for their sins and wrongdoings in this some sort of purgatory state in Morgue City. One of the first things that we learned about Floyd Campbell was that the last fight he fought was against Tony King. Floyd is a veteran whereas Tony is an up and coming boxer and it was titled the greatest heavyweight fight. He ended up losing and as you guys know and remember from the quote, besides removing the padding from his gloves, the boxer wore a pair of brass knuckles hidden beneath his hand wraps. He wasn't looking to win, he was looking to cause damage. This would mean that he was desperate. Since he once was the best heavyweight fighter, now he was at the bottom of the pack. Mountain Dew and Doritos is having a special promotion right now where if you buy Mountain Dew and Doritos as a code so you can get double XP and zombies. When you enter those codes, you eventually unlock videos. So there was a video about the boxer and in that trailer it had three distinct words. The first one is bets. It is safe to assume that he would bet on his boxing matches using the brass knuckles. Chances are if you have brass knuckles you're probably going to win, so he used it to an advantage and he decided to use brass knuckles. In some cases he probably also got paid to lose matches and rig the competition. If one of these so called rigs was unsuccessful, he would have some debts to pay. Chances are that he organized with some type of gang having to do with organized crime in Morgue City. So it is talked about by Ron Perlman, he was had an interview and he basically said that in Morgue City it's some sort of like one of those organized crime that he got into in the boxing scene because there's regular boxing and then there's like a whole nother side to boxing that he didn't know about right away. Then he used the other side of boxing, the sketchier side, the more corrupt side in order to expose that and get more money for himself so he'd become more successful. Now when these things backfire on him, he doesn't know what to do. He originally did it innocently trying to just get more money, but then eventually it got to more and more problems where there was crime, maybe he's killed a couple people inside the box ring or outside from like punching them and stuff. So I would assume that this is what's going on. He's kind of stuck in an area where he can't really get himself out automatically and he's really just having a lot of trouble. Floyd also held grudges against the boxers he fought. Like stated before, he was looking to cause damage. He most likely held a grudge against Tony King, who was the up and coming monster that killed him, and also he probably held grudges against the people that he was paid to lose against. So this is pretty interesting as well. In the trailer we see that he definitely has some built up rage and anger towards whoever he is boxing, hence why he broke the guy's jaw in the trailer. As for right now, this is all we know about the boxer. There's definitely a lot more information coming out, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated when the game is released and we actually learn the entire story. But make sure you guys do subscribe for the latest and greatest Black Ops 3 Zombies info and guides and tutorials and all that sort of stuff. When that game comes out, guys, I'm going to be going so hard in the game, grinding it. Hope you guys are excited. If you guys have any other theories or anything about the boxer make sure to comment them down below guys and i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you guys later my name is greg fps peace